Speaking with us today is Charles Gradante. He is president and chief executive officer of the Hennessy Group, which is a company that provides advisory services to hedge funds here in the U.S. Good to have you with us. Good to be here. There's been a lot of criticism of the way the IMF has been handling these various crises in emerging markets around the world. Uh, pretty scathing review of that uh, earlier in the week on the op-ed page of the Wall Street Journal. What's your assessment of the, what the IMF is doing? I think the, the, the criticism is justified. They, they pretty much are, are exporting deflationary type policies uh, to economies that should be reflating, not deflating. Their budgetary uh, controls uh, that they're placing on the Pacific Rim are uh, reducing demand and what we need is for those countries to increase demand not reduce demand so they're creating recessions uh, which is counter to what's needed today the funds that you uh, provide uh, advice for hedge funds which means that they can bet against the market as it were short sales and right. things of that nature uh, is there further downside uh, in the marketplace, well, first of all, we advise investors, uh, not hedge funds, and in doing so, we evaluate hedge funds and what they're doing. Uh, most hedge funds do see a little more downside in this market. Uh, we believe that there'll be a retesting of the lows. What about the Latin American region? We're hearing uh, speculation on uh, a reluctant uh, Brazilian government perhaps negotiating with the IMF. Word uh, reported in a number of uh, financial press uh, earlier in the week that some of the money center banks here in New York have already been giving uh, are proving some kind of uh, position on funding for uh, for Brazil, for Argentina, perhaps. Uh, yeah. Do you think this is, it's a good move to make? It's an excellent move. I think some of the resistance is posturing. It's a typical Latin American move to posture themselves in, in cases like this. They don't want to give up too much. The American banks, of course, want, want guarantees uh, subject to their lending. Uh, but Latin America is very important. It's our second uh, largest trading partner next to Canada. We need for Latin America and for Brazil. And the problem in Brazil to be contained. Uh, what's happening in Chile was a little bit disturbing this morning, but we think that's just a uh, one-off event. What about the Mexican economy? How does it look to you? Well, uh, it, it, it looks like it's, it's falling into a recession. I mean, the, uh, the peso has, has dropped uh, 30, 35 percent. The stock market is down quite a bit. Uh, but the fundamentals are still pretty good. We think that Latin America in general was an overreaction to what was happening in Asia and Russia. Uh, emerging markets tend to be, be viewed as one asset class. So they got hit when Russia and Pacific Rim got hit. But uh, we see opportunities in Latin America, especially in the Brady Bond debt area. Where oh, really? yields to maturities are in the 20 plus range. What about the U.S. equity market? How do you evaluate that at this point? It's, uh, it's kind of hard to say. We, we think ultimately Greenspan will have to lower rates. The long end is forcing him to lower the short end eventually. Uh, I think he's been talking about exuberance for so long in this market that he's not about to do it uh, too quickly. I, I think he'd like to see uh, the averages down a bit more um, and stay down for a while. So I, I think maybe December uh, or January you might see a, a rate reduction. All right. Charles Hennessy, of, or Charles Gridante, I'm Redante. sorry, of the Hennessy Group. Thanks very much for joining us. <laughs>